Now my microphone's on. All right. Hey everybody, Dave Rollins here with another episode of Think More, Shoot Less. Uh, today we're gonna go over a quick mix guide for Kodak XTAL developer. Now Kodak XTAL is one of my favorite developers. Uh, it's very fine grain with all the high speed film that I've ever shot, it looks great, but I've also noticed benefit in the slow speed film. And it's also been uh, one of those things that's uh, extremely environmentally friendly. If you look at the basic components of it, it's very similar to like vitamin C. So this is one of those developers that I do feel comfortable uh, letting go down the drain. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Here's a list of some of the things that you're gonna need to mix up this packet of Extol. You're gonna need a two gallon bucket, a spatula or some kind of stir stick, five one liter bottles, a thousand milliliter measuring graduate, distilled water, which I would call optional, but it's one of those things that I prefer to mix it with clean water so that it lasts longer, a thermometer, a packet of Extol, and also optionally some saran wrap. So it's important to clean your bottles and label them well. On my bucket I've made two indentation marks, two scratch marks where there's the four liter and five liter points. We'll fill this up to the four liter point and I'm choosing to use distilled water here. So there's one gallon out of the way and we're still not at the four liter point. So. We move on to the second gallon, get it right up to that four liter point. So now that we got it at the four liter point, I'm checking my temperature, we're at 72, and that's, that's pretty ideal for mixing this. It's a really good thing to be mixing at a slightly higher temperature, as it helps to avoid clumping. So if you pour the powder in too fast, it'll clump. And also if you pour it in at too cold of a temperature, it'll clump. So we'll cut open part A and we're going to dump it in very slowly and while stirring. So, so I'm going to start stirring before I even start pouring the powder in. And I'll just slowly let it kind of start trickling in. It's better for it to be slower rather than faster so that it doesn't clump. There's the contents of packet one. And I'll just keep mixing for a second, try to get it, make sure it's all evenly distributed. All right. So now we're gonna move on to uh, packet B. I'll cut it open just like I did the last one. I don't cut the whole thing open. I just cut that end, and then I try to open it up a little bit so that it all pours out nicely. All right, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and mix in packet B. And this should have a color change. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, so now I'm still not very far beyond the four liter point, and this mix is five liters. So what they state to do is to continue to add water until you're at that five liter point. All right, give it another mix after I add that water just for safety's sake. All right, so now I'm ready to take this and fill up my bottles. I usually do all of this within the sink just to make sure that I'm not spilling anything or you know causing big messes you don't want to mess that up pour this all over your bathroom that'd be fun right so i'll pour a thousand milliliters uh into this graduate and then from the graduate i'll pour it into my bottles these bottles do hold a little bit more than the thousand milliliters and so i will allow for that extra bit to happen. I will pour more in uh, because I want to fill them up to the brim and then put a little bit of a little dab of saran wrap over the the top of it. 
Now I typically won't do this with the first bottle because the first bottle I'm going to be using soon. So why put in more effort and waste more material? But I still will fill it up to the brim like that and then get my cap on nice and tight. Opa! <laughs> and that'll happen. It'll, you'll overflow a little bit, you know? Things happen. I'll take a little bit of my saran wrap here. And that's filled up to the very, very top. I'll get this saran wrap over it. And then I'll put the lid on. X tall bottle number two, ready to go. Follow the same process for all the rest of the bottles. Watching, I hope this has helped you in. Uh, uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. I'm hoping to have some more videos coming out soon. Uh, now that we're all spending so much more time at home given the quarantine, uh, I'm trying to focus in my efforts on finishing the dark room here. I'm ready to take uh, lab orders, so if you have any E6, C41, or black and white film that you want developed, I'm doing 110 all the way up to 4x5 at the moment. So, yep, send it on my way. 6K full frame scans come included, so yeah. As always, think more, shoot less.